gave me the folder to Tony Creates and a project I want to get done before I go to South Africa and that is a like a handbag journal notebook thingy for my mom so my friend Luke gave me this uh, uh, piece of paper it's from a chocolate box you know the piece they put between the chocolate and the box this kind of piece I thought this would make a great inner for for our journal so I folded it in half but I'm thinking that for a handbag normally I actually went ahead and cut the papers to fit in here but I'm thinking you know what this is just just a wee bit too big for a, like a handbag journal so I'm just gonna cut it down to four is this one four yeah this is four this really is four uh, and we're going to be cutting fabric that's why I have my mat out and I just want to make sure this is straight it's a lot easier if I can just um, do this all at once so I'm going like that and this is my little paper I use this one for paper rotary cutter just going to go like that and I'm oopsie wrong way okay so I used to be a quilter guys that's why I have all this equipment uh, if you don't have the equipment just draw a line and use your scissors okay so and what I have here is a little bit of Tyvek uh, just Tyvek paper it's it's like yeah you, you can't be breaking it I think if you go this way you can no you can't so it just gives a little bit extra um, support to the spine and I'll show you why because I want to make this journal refillable so I'm just using the silicone glue and I'm kind of being generous here and um, my fingers are going to be in a state when I'm finished with this but anyway and uh, go over there We can trim off the excess later. Let me just get this and I want to make sure the glue is coming to all the edges. Okay, you won't be seeing this. Let's do the side as well, just to be sure, to be sure. And uh, yeah, so I just want to, this is a quickie project. I Hopefully I'm going to get this finished in one, one, uh, one go uh, um, probably the journal making decorating um, the decorating is going to be to a minimum because our whole idea is that this is technically just a notebook you know what I mean so I'm just gonna gonna go like, go like that and squish this glue out oops sorry so let's measure this so this is six inches by eight and a eight and a quarter maybe six by eight and a quarter okay so let's leave this yolk to dry and come on let's just I just want to, I want to make sure that these the edges here are, are down flat not that anybody's going to see them but you know just having a clue well this mat this mat has seen lots of stuff now that uh, uh, I found these bits of fabric at I think this is little or Aldi guys I, I, I want to say the range but I don't think so I think this is little or Aldi trim it um, TJ oh this might have been TK Maxx got it at TK Maxx okay so I know I threw that away I shouldn't actually I'm not digging it out the bin okay so that's a lovely neutral we might use this for the inside I don't know I loved uh, this is the whole reason I picked it up was because of this fabric but look at the stripe here oh my goodness I love that oh my goodness inside outside what I think this will be for my mom this one I'm gonna do yeah I think although practically if it's going to be refillable you kind of want a color that could 
take a bit of dirt you know what I mean so I think I'll go for the dark one and then I'll leave the light for the inside that's what I'm gonna do that's what I'm gonna do now let's see how oh, is this 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 is oh whoa this is actually quite a bit of fabric oh happy days happy days okay so what did we say we said six no we didn't see oh well, that's fabulous memory you've got woman here was six six by eight and a scotch okay so let's go this is a square is this a fat quarter this one's probably a fat quarter so we're gonna go six but we want a little bit yeah I'm gonna do like ruffled edges so I'm gonna go six but I'm gonna take it out a quarter um, see now this is where I kind of want my big big ruler okay so now this mat doesn't have quarters it has halves so we're gonna go half here half here okay we're gonna go like this don't watch me i know it's, this is is a bit awkward so and i kind of want to make it so we go now this is this is what i do okay now we need to go a half over here okay we're going a quarter quarter over here and we're gonna go one two three four five six seven eight and then a half on this side so guess what it comes up to nine and a half but that doesn't make sense to me here's a quarter nine and a quarter nine and a quarter one two three four five six seven eight okay it is and we are just going up a quarter okay let's go a quarter there and we're going up one two three four five six and a quarter and let me just get a pencil six and a quarter do that again one two three four five six and a quarter so we're going up to there okay so that's done so this is just from my other mat that I got like that so you see this is not very sharp okay we've got him We've got him okay so just trying to make sure that I don't waste fabric let's just make sure this ruler is straight guys and then I'm just gonna oh, should actually be doing this standing up not sitting down but anyway okay let's see Okay, done. Do that. That wasn't very good cutting, was it? Okay, now before we go and cut our fancy fabric, let's just see if we are the right size. I suppose it would have been easier. Yes, we were a quarter over, and that's how I want it. Okay. We can always come, it doesn't have to be, this isn't a quilt where I'm joining blocks and it has to be perfect okay so we can just use this piece sorry safety first let's just fold him back up but i kind of want to show that this has been cut 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 there we go i can see like that okay so then this one isn't this fabulous looks a little bit like curtain material but i think that's really yummy okay wow. goodness gracious there's so much of it 
so much okay so we're gonna just take you and we're gonna go like that okay now put you down and cut cut let's get our cover doesn't make any difference which is I think this because this is the lighter side I'm gonna put this here and let's just get our glue mat before we go and mess things up okay um, now this one is uh, And I just want to make sure that there's no like, like really, really big blobby bits because if they are, they're going to show through this one. Okay, and get that chunky piece out there, chunky piece out there. Oh no, should actually, oh you know what I have, I have that Mod Podge fabric glue. See? Okay, now things are a little bit longer. See, I haven't put it. You know, lift this up. Well, let's. We, we, this is why you cut bigger. I'll trim it afterwards because I am going to be sewing this, guys. So, no big deal if it's a bit wonky. What I might do is trim it. Oh, look at this! Look at this glue all over my mat now okay let's do this one get that on okay and just come here and squish down so that there's no no big clumpy bits okay whoops Getting all the threads out the way and just matching it up to the brown. Oopsie. Okay. We've got a bit of seepage there, but on and here. Bang. Oh, come on. Let me just rub that off. Sorry, I just want to get this glue off here. Um, Oh, no, come on, that's seeping right through. Okay, note to self, or at least that side we can't, you can't see it. Once this is dry, you won't be able to see it. Probably see these, these, what's his name that I did, but you know what? I'll sort that out afterwards. Okay, so let's give that a sec to dry. Um, and then let's do this. So this is, this is the length of our, is eight and a quarter so four should be our let me do it here four should be our paper so i'm gonna just yeah four because we have eight and a quarter so it's gonna come in a little bit okay give me a sec i think the folks have arrived home Hold on i don't sec. know what that howling was about anyway so we are gonna do this at four um, Let's just make sure everything's in there good and solid. Good and solid. So that's ready to go now. Whoops. Now I am just going. So I'm just clipping this together just to keep them all together. How far as we were drying so I'm just gonna quickly sew around here and I'm just gonna use a zigzag and I'm using brown and I'm gonna do it on this side so I'm actually gonna be zigzagging just off off like I'm gonna be zigzagging like this 
okay maybe we'll see how if i can get it right so i'll be back in a sec right folks so we kind of got that done and it's nice with this light material i could actually see what i was where i was sewing so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to trim i'm going to see if my pinking shears my pinking shears are not the best i did get them real cheapo so i just want to see if i can just trim this down a bit and of course with time this edge will get ruffled which is what we want and thank you for behaving wow so just cutting this down hope not too much in your face and then just a, a, a word of warning the the silicone glue which your fabri-tac is this isn't actual fabri-tac in this bottle i'm hoarding my fabri-tac guys yeah so I have got a bottle of Fabri-Tac which I'm holding. So I'm just using up this real El Cheapo silicone glue I found, which does the trick. Uh, but it doesn't dry as quick. Okay, so this is all nicely trimmed. The nice thing with having this semi-transparent fabric is I can actually see what I'm doing. You know, you don't have to be so precise with your measurements. Oopsie, come on. There we go. Okay, so that doesn't matter. See, okay, let's throw all these bits away. Oh, you know, I was watching, I don't know if anybody saw, I don't know if I sp spoke to you about this. I was watching Dale Agostinelli's um, video and she did a cover where she just took scraps and piled them on top and then sewed. It's like, I'm a song, I'm a song. I just threw, when I finished my quilt, decided I wasn't going to do quilting anymore. I threw a huge box, a huge box of fabric bits and pieces that are, you know, kind of, you kind of hold like you hold paper. <laughs> okay, now we're going to go like that. Okay. And we've got, we've got a nice strong thing. This is going to be our front. We can sort out these gluey bits. Kind of got the back sorted. Oopsie, it needs to come over a wee bit. There we go. Like that. So we're going to get that folded over. Get my bone folded and just, just get you in there. Get you in there. There we go. So now what I want to do is uh, check that our paper fits. Check that our paper fits. Okay. We probably could cut another smidge off. Okay, I will cut another smidge off. But I'll do it off camera, guys. We'll see. Yeah, probably needs another. See, it's sticking out of it. We don't want it sticking out so much. But now what I want to do is I want to measure here. Okay, and then I'm going to take... I'm just going to take any old pen. And this one I want over there. Okay. And this one is gonna, so this is gonna be in the middle, will be over there. Okay, is that the middle of a fold? Yes. Right, so now we have to take Beastie out. For those that don't know, Beastie is a We Are Memory Keepers, uh, what do they call this thing? Crocodile 2 is what I have here. And I'm going to, oopsie, some of the debris off the floor. Now, what I do have, guys, is I have teeny tiny brads. But I don't know what, see, I could use this golden color. But maybe I should. Let me just use this. Because I think I'm going to need fingers for this. Um, see these are the small just want the small one all I want is for mine this is my biggest elastic because I've got to decide which one I want so that fits through nicely so I think I might just use is it the same as the hmm, I don't know guys I don't know decisions decisions what's this one that one's a bit better hey let me have a look. Um, uh, 
Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's use that. Thank you. You can go back. Okay. And I don't want that one. And this one. There we go. Okay. And then I suppose it would be easier for me to... Well, I suppose I might as well just see where oh, we I need a B C and I need three there we go it's on the smaller hole turn around now you won't you won't be able to see what I'm doing here folks I'm just let me show you here you see it's got a pokey thing so I'm just bringing it down where I can see it and I'm going to get it over my dot and I'm going to go like that oopsie and then I come around and I'm going to do the other one I probably could have done this with a hand one because it's right close to the edge but you know what it's going through layers of fabric and I want a nice clean now what you need to do is just take a small shop and just tidy up that because sometimes the fabric doesn't want to behave itself just tidying up that a little bit so we can get our our uh, eyelets in there come on Let's see how I need fingers go in there let's just do this one as well oh can't even see the hole there let's get you a little bit neater so, there we, oops, oops, don't lose don't lose right and now now the this side is you have to move this right up see when last I used it and now this piece will be coming down so I'll just go like that make sure it's centered and why does it feel so tough and there we go lovely so now we have to decide what uh, that needs to come down. These ones are really tough. Okay, so now I have to decide what elastic I'm going to use. Now this Tarvex is making things really, really tough there. Okay, let's use... So let me show you what I've got. I've got this one I got somewhere but I've dyed I dyed with I think it's the same as this one I've got here this I've got a tiger this is black elastic I kind of like this coffee dyed but it's really thin I wonder if I could use a double strand I'm just thinking yeah double strand no that's not gonna work I uh, got the turquoise, I don't think that's going to work. I got this white one, which I like because it's nice thick. And then we do have white there. Um, if I go like this. Don't ask me where I got this. Got this off some sort of packaging. Definitely did not buy it. If I go like that. It says glue on my hand. Oops. And just give this a tie. Oopsie, look there. Nearly missed that. Is that going to impede us? Do you see that there? Plastic's broken. Okay, that solves another uh, issue I was having. So I'm just going to go like this. And I'm going to go like that. And like that and why is it stripping like that 
do you see there? Look, I just pulled it in it. Oh dear. Oh dear. I hope that's not gonna. That's very really loose. Okay, it's gonna do for. You've got the idea, guys. I'm gonna have to change it. I might have to change it for this. This elastic might be, but I'll do that all off off camera. So this is gonna fit in like that. Okay. Okay. Now, closure-wise, I was thinking of putting another hole here and having an elastic closure. But then I was thinking, you know, that might be difficult in your bag of uh, you know, taking it out. Although it could work. I suppose I could do it like that. I suppose I could do it like that. Let me. Should we? Shouldn't we? Should we? Should we? We have to change this elastic because now I'm, I'm kind of paranoid. Anyway, how far are we? We're good. Now, what I want to do is, is I have these uh, calendar stickers that I got on. Um, where do I get this Etsy I suppose I don't know or oh, this could actually also have been little one of those so what this is let me show you so it can go like this and get you go like this okay and you put that, let's get it right up to the corner, like that, okay, and then you come over here, and you just bend over, whoopsie, didn't do it, okay, so there you have a tape, now this is a perpetual calendar, so let me show you what you do, you take the, you take the, I just need to, start my computer so I can get the calendar so I'll be so I'm gonna start this from October because she has um, I shall only be getting this in October so let's get a nice pen um, my uni ball so this is October 23 and then I look, October starts on a on a Sunday. Sunday, yes, so there we go. Sunday's the first. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay, so October ends on Tuesday the 31st you see so you can just put them in as you want now see what are these round bits oh these round bits are fun that's probably why I got it so oh, did I it looks like I might have stamped those why are they so smudgy so I've got a whole bunch so I can give her one let me see if this does this not look like it's dry no it's not quite dry so we can put those so she can actually I decided I wanted to cut these pages down didn't I so you can you can actually write the month there if you want it um, now what I do want to do is think about what to put on the cover if we are going to put anything okay this um this is okay i'm gonna have to take this page out because i uh, need to trim them down down first okay this is you see this is you see uh, 
actually guys it's not that it's not that you see with this paper it holds it in it's just holding it in it's not going to come out i just got to decide i have not decided what i want to put on the cover if anything uh what i am going to do is i'm going to cut these pages down um maybe put a couple more dates in for her maybe even a few more pages and then i'm going to decide on um a cover for the front don't want to, i just want something to you know what we need to i think i'm going to make a a velcro closure no i'm not you know what i'm thinking i'm thinking handbag guys velcro is like a magnet for all your handbag fluff so let's just do another elastic so let me show you what i'm going to do so i'm just going to i'm taking this out because this elastic is rubbish and i'm going to throw all of this in the bin because the minute you overstretch that you see what happens so i'm going to throw that uh, away uh, i'm going to measure here what is the middle well, let's get a ruler that uh, i can read so zero so we have two and a half no two and three quarters two and three quarters three quarters to three quarters so we're going to make that the middle okay there right let me just go and see if this is them hold on a second. right i have done a few things since we spoke i was completely forgot where i am because i've done a whole lot of stuff in between that but this is how far i just wanted to finish this journal off this is how far we are i went and put a few little patches on there just to cover those glue goobers that i didn't like and at the end of the day i think i should have just come over with mod podge or something and but anyway it is what it is i've done it right now let's get our I should have untangled this off camera. Hey, here's, here's how I untangle things. I put my fingers in there and I loose, loosen everything up. Instead of trying to find... Eventually you find an end. There. Where? Where? There. There. Okay. So we... Right. So I want to make this double. Double. So we're going to go in here let's get our wee little crochet hook make our life easier come on stick it in there and pull it through right so we need to maybe put a bit more length on there is that going to be enough that should be enough let's cut him off Right, and I think we might just have to do one one here. Maybe both will come through. One. And the other one. Right. Now, let's just go like that. So we are just going to pull that tight, we're good to go, I'm sure there's a fancy schmancy way to knot this, okay, I'm going to leave it just like, right, let's get our signature in, I've trimmed the signature down and I've put in a couple of these tags for her, in case Okay, she wants them. I'll give her the pack if she wants to do more. So we've got that in the middle. So our signature is in like that. Okay, I'm just doing a little bit of molding here. Thank you very much. Okay. 
we go in and now we're coming this way guys uh, well it would be easy if I just did it like this just did it like that and brought that out like whoops cap where did you go come on oh boy don't go and pull out your don't go pull your bread out let's just feed it this way again see what's happening there let's just do it this side there seems to be more space I'm just gonna go in like that and like that okay and now I'm going to do a over knot like Okay, now I need to make sure it doesn't come out, it's not going to come out there, okay that's good to go, now where's our front, there's our front, okay that's good, so that's actually in the back, we are happy with that, and now what I want to do is I want to stick this little, this little bird cage in there, but I want to put a little towel on. This is hemp that I still bought with my mom when we went on a trip to go and see her, the village she grew up in, in, well, Somerset, England. So I thought it would be a nice little memento. If I can get it in there. look what I did oh well it's going going without a string we'll just uh, modify him like that get a bit of a there we go birdie's gonna go on there and then we call it a day before we break something else I wanted to put a charm on. Okay, I'm going to go in there. This is just tacky glue, guys. Getting the old tacky glue out. There we go. <gasps> sure. And then I'm just going to stick it on there like that, just for a little bit of extra something. Right, let's hope it doesn't pop off. It's okay. So that's there. And then we have our clue jar. Now our clue jar is very loose. Okay, we can make it tighter. This is how we do it. This, okay. Actually, I'm not going to make it tighter. See, if I... I could put two signatures in here. I could put two signatures in here. But I'm not going to. Let's just leave that like that. Okay, folks, there we go. That's a nice, quick and easy. This, this would make great... Uh, um, uh, Happy mail. Oh, I think I might do a few extras. I need to get some more of those bo chocolate box because it gives a nice, a nice feel to it. So that's our our journal done. Oh, we've still got this nice little piece of string. Yeah. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed that project and you'll make a few yourself. And I'll speak to you soon. Cheerio now.